Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about designing a multi-sheet Excel report using RTF template. Okay, so I'll show you the output once and then we'll discuss the technical aspects of this one. So this is a, a BI publisher report, which is based on RTF template and it is having a party number as an input and where I can select multiple party numbers. And once I click on apply, it will gen it is generating an HTML output. Now, what I'll do is, once it got generated, I'll just try to get the Excel sheet output also, and then we can observe what I'm talking about. So let the output got generated, and then click on this Excel Excel sheet file. And you can understand this, you know, like here, okay, let it open. Yep, this is one. And here, if you observe, I have this particular one, which is having two sheets. One is parameter sheet, another one is customer data. So now I'll try to tell you how I have done this one, okay? So the core functionality of this one is like, um, when you design the RTF template, what you have to do is you just need to like, uh, here if you observe, I have my parameter section and I have my, the data section. So what I've done is like, uh, once you design the parameter section, you just need to do a, a page break. So you can just click on insert and a page break. Once you click on a page break and you have to add up, if at all, if you don't, if you want to have a user defined sheet name, then you have to define one more tag. If you don't want to have a user defined sheet name, what will happen is the RTF template, nothing but the BI, BI engine will automatically assign a sheet one, sheet two, respectively like that. If you want to have a designated sheet names, what you can do is you have to have one more tag. That's nothing but a spreadsheet tag. You have to use it. Like this is, a, this is syntax for the spreadsheet tag. And if you want to mention your appropriate sheet name, you can mention like this. And here, if you observe, let me show my the sample, which I've used here. Here, the sheet name I have mentioned is parameters. And similarly, the next page, I mentioned it as customer sheet. Okay, so this is the way which I have done the logic of implementation of multiple Excel sheets. So now we'll start from the scratch. So let me show you the query which I have used here. And this is a query for the party data where the input parameter is party number and which where I can select multiple party numbers. So what I'll do is I'll try to create from scratch Yeah, it's taking time. Let me try to refresh. Yep. Okay, now I'll just create a new data model. I'll save it first. I'll say RTF multi sheet DM. Save it. Create the query. This is my query. It will create a parameter, the underscore party number. Save it. Now create the LOV for the party number. So here, if you observe, for the user, it will show party name, but at the back end, it will pass party number with the comma separated values to the query. Okay. So click on this one. Party LOV. So here, how the logic happens is if you pass, if you mention two parameter names in the query, the first parameter name will be shown to the user, and second parameter name will be passed to the the appropriate parameter. Okay. So I'll save it. Now click on this one, click on the party number and apply, click on menu. Now I want to go with multi-selection, so select multi-selection here. Okay, now click on this one. Data. And select a couple of parties. Okay, now you can see that, you know, the party number list is separate by comma and we should be able to see multiple party numbers data generated right now what you do is export this excel data export make sure that you save it now just get this one so here 
this is my data model i'll open ms word blank document i'll save it first of all rtf multi-sheet report okay now load the data rtf multi-sheet data model and now we'll try to create a table using a wizard and here the first data group nothing but g underscore one which is having our table table data select the columns and finish okay so this will simply show the party data right now we'll try to show the parameter data also what i'll do is i'll try to create one table before the party data so insert a table with two columns party name you don't require two columns actually this one column should be fine here it was i'll mention parameter section like this parameters as of now one but yes yeah, okay now bi okay so i need to insert that field right i'll just select one of the field here select double click here and i'll change this one to party number and here also i'll change it to p underscore party number make sure that you select the text display and make sure this is also corrected if it does not show the value properly just correct it accordingly okay now before changing anything before adding the excel sheet logic let us see the output first of all and i'll okay better i close all the open output files yep so i'll go with excel sheet out directly and let's see how many sheets it shows initially okay as of now it is showing only one sheet and the sheet name is sheet one okay now what i'll do is i'll try to apply the logic which i was talking about go to insert and just simply click the page break where i'm doing the page break is just before the second table so click the page break so that the second table will in the second page and the first table will in the first page this is how i want to divide into sheets and now go to bi publisher and just try the excel sheet and okay now we could see sheet one is having parameter sheet two has having the the party data now what we wanted is we don't want to have the auto generated sheet name we want to have the developer defined sheet names for that what we need to do is we just need to apply this logic the only logic is this is syntax the sheet name logic just copy this one the syntax and and here what i'll do is and here this sheet name i want to name it as parameter or parameters make sure you follow this syntax exactly else you may have you may face a little bit set of issues that's it now click on excel sheet now we should have the data generated with the specific sheet names which we mentioned parameters this is my parameter sheet and this is our customer data sheet that's it so this is how we can achieve a dynamic excel sheets and with the user specified sheet names but one more thing remember you can't now here as of now what is happening is we are controlling the number of sheets but if you want to have n number of sheets generated dynamically that is not possible using rtf template that you have to use excel sheet, excel sheet template only using rtf template what you can achieve is you can generate the specified number of sheets and you can name the sheet names according to your requirement that is what you can achieve using the excel sheet logic using this particular i mean using rtf logic this using this particular spreadsheet spreadsheet hyphen sheet name logic okay thank you